I'm James, this is a quick review, and today we're gonna review the Film City Shoulder Rig. Film, film city, bitch. Film, film, film city, bitch. Film, 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 film city, bitch. First I'll show you all the things that this shoulder rig comes with. Nine rods, three grips, one of those is a carrying grip, shoulder pad, counterweight, camera mount, and a mat box. Now we'll talk about the pros of this DSLR rig. Firstly, it's got a really good price. You can get on eBay for about $120, and that's great. These shoulder rigs can go into the thousands of dollars. So next, a great feature of this DSLR rig is it's really lightweight. I use this to shoot weddings, and I shoot with it all day and hold it on my shoulder, and I only get a little tired, and it's not really from the weight, it's just from holding it constantly. So it's really good weight. The last two pros of the shoulder rig is the shoulder pad is really nice. It's just loose enough to where you can move it around with ease, but it won't slide on accident. And the counterweight is good. It balances out just perfectly. It's not too heavy to where it's tiresome. It's great. I didn't include the mat box as a pro because I don't really use it for most of the shooting I do. I don't need it. It will block the light coming in from the side of the lens and so that you don't get any flares you don't want or anything. And it's got this thing, sock I guess you would call it, and it will keep any light from coming into the lens at all. It's really helpful for that. I just don't use it for shooting I do. There's one more thing I forgot about this rig. Because you're a dummy head. Uh huh. It's the separator here. It goes on one side so you can put the shoulder mount and counterweight there. And then your camera goes right in front of your face. It's a nice setup. 